Come on in. Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited to welcome you to a fantastic video here on a very warm Colorado Monday. Uh, again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. And today we are going to be looking at a 2023 Newmar Canyon Star. Now this is a 3957. This model was carried over from the last year and will be carried over again into 2024. But the 2023 had all sorts of fantastic improvements. So I can't wait to walk you through and show you why you might consider this coach for your family. I'll tell you one thing, this RV is always my favorite to show because it gives you so much flexibility for a really outdoorsy family. As usual though, I like to start my RV videos from the inside out. So Jody, please go ahead and take her on back. For those of you who watch us all the time, thank you so much. Please like and subscribe to my page. I am found at hashtag RVs inside out on YouTube. You can also find all of us at TTTRV on YouTube. And we come to you five days a week, three times a day with a truck, a trailer, and an RV video. So it's a really fantastic organization to work with. We can absolutely um, handle and suffice all of your needs uh, or satisfy all of your needs um, from an outdoor perspective. Uh, but this coach in particular is one of my favorites for this reason right here. This is a 72 by 80 bed. So I sold the first 3927 uh, Canyon Star toy hauler that we had ever carried here at the store. And it was a queen and it was great because my friend Miles bought it. He's a tall single guy, doesn't really need a lot of space, but for those of you who've been camping before, we know that it's really nice to have a king size bed in the bedroom. Now this coach also has a few upgrades. For instance, it's got six uh, chassis batteries, in, or sorry, six house batteries instead of four. Uh, it also has three air conditioners instead of two. Um, and it also has the plugins that you need next to your bed for two uh, USB ports and then two 110 outlets as well as some storage on either one of your nightstands. Um, one of my favorite uh, upgrades to the features that you'll have in 2023 is this little touch screen here. One of the things that it allows me to do is I can go here into the bedroom, I can choose to turn all my lights off in the master, and then I can go ahead and I can go into the master bedroom and turn on just my accent lights. So this accent light feature that you see here is really something that's very useful. I've used this over and over again when I camp in my Superstar. And you know, after coming back last week, it really kind of illuminated some of my favorite features about a Numar. And having this nice light light in here as opposed to that really garish bright light is absolutely one of those features that separates Numar and puts them a very large step above the rest. Um, other things that are super nice, you have both day and night shades on either side of your bed and then you have fully functioning and opening windows on either side. I love this headboard here. This is a really, really nice headboard. As you can see, this is a much more modern, uh, much more modern look, if you will. Um, it's also nice that you have this wood backdrop. Now keep in mind, this coach does have the upgraded wood cabinets in it. So you can either get a vinyl wrap or you can get an upgraded wood cabinet with a solid wood door. These are the solid wood doors. They're very, very sturdy. Um, and then as you can see over here, we have something that you don't find oftentimes, which is a door. So this door goes into this back and I'm gonna save that for just a few seconds, but man, that is what makes this coach all the rage. Now, um, with all the extra room that you have here, we've got a really nice feature in that you can actually turn this into either a full closet you can take the shelves out. You could use it partially for shelves. You can really just, you know, it's like a transformer. You can really use it for however you want. All of these are on uh, little pegs. They're easily adjustable. They're metal pegs. And it's just a great way to be able to carry as much as you need for different types of things. Uh, so for instance, if maybe you're gonna be doing a lot of outdoor hiking, you might use this bottom shelf here for shoe boxes take out this mid shelf and have a hanging area as well. You know, there's just so many things that you can do with that closet. And then also really nice full extension doors. And I love the way that Numar does this. These full extension drawers allow you to get all the way to the back. So you're not wondering what you can't see in the back. Big drawers down here on the bottom. And I will open all of these. 
just so you can see what your storage capacity will be like when you take this home. And I know it's really funny, for those of you who find this tedious, you're probably not that interested in the model. Uh, but for those of you who appreciate the fact that we really cover as much as we can, we do that because we would like you to consider purchasing from our organization because our staff here is really familiar with the product that we carry. It's a little emergency exit window, 43 inch Samsung Smart TV, uh, just a really, really nice coach overall. And then as you can see, I just touched this little KIB switch here on the, on the wall. So I have different controls throughout the coach. I can control all of my lights through KIB switches, but I'm not relegated to that. Again, I've got that center control panel where I can control everything. And as of 2023, you can actually control that panel through your phone on an app. So you can be laying in bed, know that the kids are coming home, turn on the front kitchen lights for them so that there's something for them to see when they get there. Just a really cool feature. Another thing I wanted to make mention of that I love about this coach is this. What a nice way to be able to sit down and get your socks and shoes on in the morning. This is just a really great little shelf here. And I also wanted to make mention of the fact that you have this really nice, very wide uh, entry into the bedroom area with a huge door to cover it so you've got complete privacy. This is just a really, really nice setup. Now, as we go forward here, Again, we're just going to touch over this panel real quick and I'm going to show you. So you have control of your lights. You can control all of your lights, all on, all off, or individual. You can control what you have going on for your dinette. You can go ahead and control your bathroom, your vanity lights, all of these things, your outdoor lights. So everything is controllable by your phone as well as with this panel. And then you can also see that we have um, our eight kilowatt generator, which is an upgrade running right now, keeping us at a nice cool 72 uh, or going for a 72. It doesn't feel like 82 inside, does it, Jody? <laughs> Jody's like, Katie, it always feels like 80, 82 inside. Uh, but you can see all of this here on the interior. Uh, you've got your fresh tank, your gray tank, and your black tank readings all very prominently displayed. Your fresh tank is gonna be an 85 gallon fresh tank, a 60 gallon gray, gray tank, and a 40 gallon black tank. Your LP is gonna be a 25 gallon LP tank. Um, so, and when you come in to pick up from us, all of these LPs and your fuel will be full. These will all be empty unless you'd like us to fill up your fresh water, which we're happy to do. So really nice setup here. Here you'll notice that we have control of our fantastic fan. Uh, this is one of those features that really is second to none. It's a rain sensing fantastic fan. And what's so nice about that is it will keep that air circulating. So if you're camping somewhere where the weather's the right temperature, but you just want that fresh air coming through the coach, that's the way to do it. Now here we've got this NorCal uh, refrigerator. I love this four door. It has the optional ice maker in it, um, but this is a lot of room. Now I have a residential in mind and I'll tell you, it might be a little bit deeper, but I really think that compartmentally, this is very, very similar. And as you can see here, you've got a lot of shelf space, a lot of room for drinks. It's a really nice setup. And I do like having a separate freezer here, maybe one for all of your meats, all of the things that you're gonna take for you uh, for cooking dinner. And then on the other side, you could use it for all of your popsicles and jello shots. Hey Morgan, always talking about you and your jello shots. All right, so all that being aside, take a look at this. This is another great feature of the 3957. There's so much pantry space here. Now keep in mind, there's so much pantry space here. You may not need to use all of this for pantries. You could use that bottom shelf there for all of your kitchen towels, maybe for some linens, and then stock the rest with food. And again, these are all adjustable. So I really like this aspect of this coach. This coach is made for people who get out there in the world, who need the flexibility to make something their own to work for their family. And this has got everything you could possibly need. Now, I'm gonna talk about this uh, cooktop, which I talk about time and time again. So this is a true induction cooktop. This is one of those optional features that really brings a huge upgrade to this coach. And the reason that is, is not because of the cutting boards on the back, but because you can literally take this outside, plug it into your picnic table, and make your bacon, fry your eggs, make your breakfast. I did French toast on it this last week. Um, it was just so nice to take it outside, but when I had it out, so let's pretend, you know, fast forward, this is outside plugged in uh, to one of the 110 outlets outside in one of my bays. It's set up on my picnic table. I can still have this set up here 
on the interior because it covers that hole, allowing me to cook or to prep all the rest of my breakfast. I can cut my strawberries, maybe I'm making mimosas, whatever it may be, I have all of this counter space. And when I say all of this counter space, this is a really huge counter. Now I know there's so many people who are like, oh my gosh, I was measuring this weekend. This is 70 inches long, and then this is a standard counter depth, so it's gonna be 25 inches deep. So really, really huge amount of counter space, not including this little niche, which once again, with these covers, allows you to have full use of it. So when you're not using your stove inside, you're using it outside, you aren't losing that space. Really love that feature. Uh, here we've got a huge silverware drawer, tons of room for cutting boards, anything along those lines that you wanna bring. And then if you've got your spatulas and tongs, uh, those big barbecue utensils that you might have, Maybe you wanna have something here for uh, cleaning supplies. And maybe you wanna have something here for bottle openers, whatever it may be. All of those things can be uh, nice and organized. And then um, when I go camping, uh, my kids and I use this dishwasher as a storage area for our dishes after we get done. So for instance, there was four of us this week, we would wash our dishes, take the dishes out of the sink, rinse them, throw them in the dishwasher as a drying rack, keep our silverware there, all of our cups, and we really never ran the dishwasher until it was time to go home. I might have run it when we had one of our bigger, messier dinners, like midweek, but for the most part, we just used it as a drying rack. It's a great way to be able to keep everything off again of the counter while you're camping. Another wonderful feature of this coach is take a look at all of the storage space that you have here for dishes. You can very easily fit all of your plates all of your bowls, all of your cups, plenty of room if you wanna put some pots and pans up here. Really, really great storage room right above the sink. And then this Whirlpool convection and microwave oven is just fantastic. As you can see here, in 2023, they went to this little guy that has these little stands. So you can make this into an air fryer, you can use it as an oven, and you can also use it as a microwave. So really, really nice feature for 2023, this upgraded Whirlpool. And then here, my, of course, my favorite, my scrubby drawer. Gotta have it. And then right above that, you'll find we've got this fantastic dual basin sink. Now, I have the same sink in my Superstar. And what we would do just to conserve water and soap and all that other stuff is do soapy side here, rinse here, and then you've got this spray and pour feature. And I know it sounds silly, but when you can spray out the sink and clean up after the kids, after they've done the dishes, um, it's just so nice to have all of the right apparatus just sitting there at your fingertips. This is a very, very high end coach. And what makes it so unique in the marketplace is this is the only front engine 6.7 liter uh, diesel offered in the marketplace. So at 340 horsepower, this coach actually has uh, 7,000 foot pounds, of, 700 foot pounds of torque and a 6,000 pound towing capacity. So hold the phone here. Almost every one of you that has a Jeep um, knows that they are over 5,000 pounds these days. This coach is designed to be able to carry uh, not only everything in the coach fully loaded, but also can tow your over 5,000 pound Jeep on a flat tow. What a great feature. Like I said, this coach is really made for those families that want to get out there and on the road. Nice place here for your trash can. And then as you can see, a ton of storage underneath here. Certainly I would say that normally I would keep my uh, little handy vac back there, but I don't need to because this coach has central vac with a kick plate. Now there is a hose attachment here as well, so you can put your hoses in, but I'll tell you, uh, with this flooring, I love the kick plate. I am constantly sweeping, uh, you know, every two or three days I'll sweep the floor, and instead of having a little broom where I'm trying to catch that last little part of dust, I just stick it right there in that hole and we're good to go, man. Um, again, hugely functional coach. Uh, lots and lots of nice features. Now, another great feature of this coach is going to be that because we've got that central control system, we've got a very easy user panel here. So we're turning our block heater on, 
we're operating our awnings, we're operating our Truma, which is giving us our tankless hot water. Uh, this Truma Go system is a new standard feature for 2023. Uh, here you'll see we have the optional wine guard. This is just a, uh, it's an antenna that basically will find as many stations as it can for you as opposed to having a hand crank. So just a power antenna. You've got your Xantrex inverter control, your power control system, your slides, your step lock, and your battery disconnect. All very simple, very, very easy to use. And you'll notice here it says solar prep. So keep in mind, these days, we carry a 190 watt solar panel. I can put four of those on top of this coach and get you over 700, get you, yeah, over 700 watts of solar, uh, almost 800 watts of solar on top of your coach. Um, and this coach is pre-wired for it. So with your extra batteries, with your solar capacity, with your large generator, your extra air conditioner, for those of you who are really looking to get out on the open road that want to go to those, those further off the track de uh, destinations, who want to maybe go to Moab, want to go into the Mojave, who want to go out there with their uh, you know side-by-sides, with their quads, whatever it may be, this is the right coach for you. Um, now here you'll notice I've got the, the blinds drawn uh, in the front of this coach. That is because it is so hot here today. But one thing I want to show you is what this looks like with the TV up. Because this is a really nice television. Um, now if that's not enough television for you, uh oh am I going to catch, yeah, there it goes. Uh, if this is not enough television for you, we also have the optional 43 inch TV here in the front. Now a lot of people go, oh my god there's so many TVs. Well, if you're watching a movie, these both turn around. Um, I guess I should probably show that to you since that matters. There's just a little, little latch here. They're both power seats. And then where's my release? Oh, there it is. So you can turn these around. I'm not gonna turn the driver's one around just cause it's a little bit more difficult to go in and out and back and forth so many times when the steering wheel's down where it is. Uh, but you can turn both of these around and here you have one, two, three, four, and then another three. So what is that? That's seven places to sit in this coach. Or if you have, you know, the family of four that wants to watch a wants, wants to watch a movie on your 50 inch smart T smart uh, TV, 4K smart TV, my gosh, your 50 inch 4K smart TV. Um, you can do that and you've got this great viewing area, but when you're going down the road, you're not supposed to have that television up. So you're going to be relegated to the 43 inch that's over the, uh, over the driver's area. But if you look at this driver's area, this is such a huge, um, improvement for us. We have such a nice flat entry area. Now this is the optional wood plank, uh, vinyl flooring. It looks great. It's super durable. This paired with your really nice solid wood cabinetry. I mean, you're in a super high end coach. Uh, this is your engine cover here. Again, this is a front engine diesel. And then here we have a nice storage drawer to keep your wallet, maybe uh, to keep your keys uh, when you're not using them. And then on the left there, you'll see we have the optional power driver's window. We also have the equalizer smart leveling system here. We've got our Allison transmission as well. And then a cup holder as, long, as well as a power, uh, a wireless charging dock right here. You've got your left and right mirror controls, heated mirrors, windshield washers, fog lights, headlights, uh, exhaust brake, and then uh, your good old fashioned Freightliner dash. Super easy to read. Um, and then on top of that, we have, take a look at this, menu, camera control. So I can take a look behind me and I can look down I can look back. Oh, that's the top of my awning over my patio. Or I can look uh, further out so you can see more of a bird's eye view. So what's so nice about this is if I'm trying to get my Jeep loaded up, I can actually look straight down the ground um, and I can show you, I can line up my Jeep. Now, of course, what you're seeing when I'm going down there is the top of the awning, but really cool to be able to actually get that Jeep lined up so you can get hooked up nice and easily. Uh, dash controls for air conditioner right here. I've got my generator running, uh, battery boost, of course, just to start. Shade control, I wanted to talk about these shades. The way that I've got them staged, I wanted just to show that they're in this really nice track, and these are power shades. Um, so that is really, really great. They come all the way down. Um, I wanted to start with them down just a little bit so that we could bring them the rest of the way later. It wouldn't take too long. 
So as you can see, these are complete blackout shades. So really lots of nice uh, protection from sunlight here in this cabin, um, especially if you're having someone sleep on the queen size bed. And then here, as you can see, they go all the way down here as well. And then when they go up, you can see one of the reasons that you're going to consider purchasing a Numar, and that is going to be because of Stephanie Reed. So here at TransWest, all these people down here are camping. Some of them are here for service. Some of them are trading in RVs and getting new ones. Um, so we have a great delivery system here. We have got a guy named Bill Habercorn who can answer questions when you're having a hard time operating your coach. But Numar takes it one step further. They provide you somebody who specializes in the Canyon Star. Um, you've got your Freightliner number here if you need to call Freightliner. If you want to order some parts, you can go to Numar and order your parts directly. But if you're just simply having an operational issue, you can call Stephanie Reed or email Canyon Star Service at NumarCorp.com. And you know, from somebody who owns a Numar, I'll tell you, um, my boyfriend's water pump went out and he was stuck in a parking lot in Emporia, Kansas, boondocking, which is what we do most of the time. And he had tested the water systems when he left, uh, but he had tested them off of city water. He hadn't tested the water pump off of the actual, just being you know unplugged, the water pump itself. And so when he got to Kansas, he had no water. And we were able to call Numar, and they had someone out there by one o'clock in the afternoon replacing that water pump uh, the very first day that he was camping. So, you know, just from, a, from an ownership standpoint, the level of service that TransWest provides, I'll tell you, is really second to none. But we're backed by our manufacturer in such a fantastic uh, way. It's really important if you haven't you know, become a Numar fan yet. If you own a Numar coach, you will be a Numar fan. They are a fantastic manufacturer to purchase from. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this back around just so we can cover some things that I think are really nice. So this year we've done away with this little desk here on the side, um, but we do have a wireless charging dock with a map light. And then here, oh, on this, let's see, it's this armrest here. This little attachment here is for an iPad holder. So you can still have your navigational screen here. Uh, if you're running Google or whatever, you know, you need to, you can still do that. And the other thing I wanted to make mention of is that I love the fact that you have this really nice window. This is a fully opening window. So lots of good fresh air coming in, going down the road, tying in with your power or your wireless charging dock your little map holder, just a really, really nice setup here. Um, now also down below here, you'll note that there is, um, if you are running that iPad, two USB ports and again, two 110 outlets as well. And then a nice little place to store all your bird books, maybe all your books about flowers, whatever it is that you carry with you. Now in this model, you will see here, we have the optional uh, booth dinette and you'll see this little, um, little cushion here makes for a really, really nice place to sit back and relax. If you're hanging out talking, just having a drink, you know, shooting the breeze with your friends, great place to sit, but it does take away a little bit of your dining space. So there is a leaf under the bed and I'll show that to you in just a moment. So you could actually bring this out further and enhance the table size as well. And then above this, you'll note that we have this Bose sound bar. We use this all the time. Um, my kids will fight over who gets to link their you know, playlist to it, but you know, you can sit it up, listen to whatever you want. If you're listening to books on tape, cause you're hanging out by yourself during the day, you can do that over the speaker as opposed to your earbuds. Uh, but when you're all hanging out together, you know, if you want to put on some Led Zeppelin or some, I don't know, Nirvana, whatever it is that you're into, uh, depending on who's running the playlist, you can do that right there. And then also up here, you're pre-wired for all the cool things. Now we're not a huge TV family and because this is a 4K smart TV, I think we might have, I don't even know if we watched one movie in 10 days. We might have, but my son and I were like, oh man, next time we do this, we're going to bring the Xbox because it's all pre-wired. Like you could just, you could play the Xbox on your big TV. We really, we spent so much time um, riding bikes and hiking. We just really weren't inside the coach very often because the weather was fantastic. Uh, now you'll note here, um, so we've got opening windows on, on uh, the dinette here. On the right hand side, again, we have another uh, 110 outlet, two USB ports. You also have all of those KIB switches throughout the coach so you can control your lights, not just from your phone, not just from the wall mount, but also at these different points throughout the coach. And then um, as you can see here, I've got this carefree awning out and it's so nice because it's really protecting us from the sun. It's quite hot today. 
Uh, so one thing I, um, I wanted to make mention of as well is if you take a look up here on top, I love the way that they do this decorative uh, ceiling inlay. It just looks really, really classy. Very nice way to add a little bit of panache uh, to the coach. Um, I think, you know, when you're out there in the RV market and you're looking for a product that really differentiates itself, you, there's really not a better manufacturer than Numar. And I mean, so they call these Lambrequins, but they're so sturdy. They're this solid wood material wrapped in a really durable f fabric. And it's just really nice to have um, such a well-built coach to show you today. Um, you know, I get trade-ins in all the time uh, for other manufacturers. And I must admit, I do have a bad habit of sometimes having a lower opinion of other builders. And not just in a quality standpoint, but in a support standpoint. Um, but to be very candid with you, I can't tell you how blessed I feel to be able to, to sell this product at this store. This is a huge, huge store. Um, so here is your bed, and then you just put these little bad boys back in place. And here you go. So you've got nice room here. Well, I guess I could do a better job stuffing them all in there, but that's the whole idea. Oh shoot, they're Velcroed now. Uh, but anyway, that's how that works. And they do fit. You just have to do it the right way. And um, if you're asking me to give you my true opinion of this bed, it's honestly, it might be more comfortable than any bed that they offer in a couch setup. It is so cushiony and soft, uh, very easily hold two people who like each other a lot or in my case my oversized son he would love this because he would be diagonal on it um, but so super cool setup there um, as anyone knows that has watched my videos I love attached cushions you know that's just the way to go and then underneath here you'll see we've got three seat belts so can you see those Jody let me see if I do this does that help can see them. you can see them all right so there's your seat belts. And when you put these back on, the only thing I'll say is make sure you get them in, in the right place below because if you don't, they Velcro as soon as you get them there. Oh man, that was like one shot, amazing. Okay, so pillows back. And another fantastic aspect of this coach so how cool is that another huge amount of storage on both sides and then one more forward facing seat belt so all in two three so you've got enough room for six i would say unless the couple that you're with is really close this would suit sleep one the bed would sleep two and then well there's more sleeping in the back and we'll see that in just a moment so enough room i don't know if i would sleep two people up here just to be honest with you if you've got kids that might be a little tight if they're older if they're little that would be fine now let's say for instance you're an early riser and you don't want to sleep the kids well there's good news to be had in this rv let's go ahead and take her on back jody oh Oh, we haven't shown the bathroom yet. Okay, so you guys, Jody just said, hey, Katie, we haven't shown the bathroom yet. I have to tell you, it's Monday. Um, it's so amazing to have a guy like Jody looking out for me because this bathroom is absolutely worth showing. This is such a nice bathroom. And one of the things I wanted to make mention of today is, so this 35-inch radius shower seems to be bigger than other 35-inch radius showers. And the reason that is is because you can now get the optional teak bench in the shower. So what's so nice about this is instead of having that built-in bump in the back that takes so much room, I can now sit down, wash my feet, shave my legs. I'll tell you, when you're out camping for a few weeks, okay, I get it for the weekend, you don't need to shave your legs, but if you're going out for like 10 days and you don't like bring your razor, your husband's really gonna probably want you in the bunk bed while he takes the king. I mean, just saying. Um, so nice to be able to do that, but then when you just want to take a shower, it opens up so much more room 
um, not to have that back area. So you can actually bend down and pick up your shampoo bottles. You've got your skylight over top. Um, I love these magnetic doors. And you'll note that if your husband does tell you that he's not sleeping with you because you didn't shave your legs, you can lock him in the shower with this little guy right here and he can't get out. So you could stop shaving your legs on like day three and just leave him in the shower until you go home. Don't, don't do that, I'm just kidding. Um, but no, I do love that. Um, I make mention of this every time, but there's a nice magnetic seal here, keeping that cold air out on a cold morning. Tons and tons of space here for your medicine cabinet. It goes all the way back over here. So if there's a few things, like you might wanna keep your hair dryer back there. Um, so a few things that might tip forward, maybe one of those little, uh, you know, magnifying mirrors, all those things back there. And then take a look at all of this extra space. I should say that just about here, uh, because this is the brains of the operation. You can put a few things there, but really this is all about your fuse panels. And then as you can see, everything is really well labeled. It's so nice. Now you'll see here, it says washer and dryer. So this coach does not have the optional washer and dryer, but it is pre-wired for one. So you can have a washer and dryer. A nice deep drawer for your toothbrush and toothpaste. And then this little cabinet here actually connects. So you can keep your toilet paper there and then your cleaning supplies on the other side. Love that. And uh, another fantastic fan inside here. You don't have to show it, Jody, but it is up there. Again, a rain sensing fan. And then my favorite thing about this coach right here, when you get in your RV or your shower, what do you need? You need your robe hook and your towel hook. Right here, you've got that nice, that nice robe hook. Um, I'm gonna keep making mention of it until one of these days, Newmar calls me and says, hey, Katie, we'd like to give you a complimentary robe hook for your superstar since you complain about it endlessly. I really do wish I had one. All right, so take a look at all of that storage. Now you can have a sleep number bed on this coach. We do not have an optional sleep number bed. Um, but as you'll see here, one of the things I really like about this RV is that you can put a CPAP machine. Uh, it should be at or below your heart, not in the cabinet above. So you've got room for that on either side of this coach and you've got an outlet right there. And the cool thing about, again, this, this 3957 is that this is a king size bed. Now it does give you an eight foot garage instead of a 10 foot garage. Uh, but honestly, I think that that's more than enough um, for, well, this isn't gonna hold a big side by side anyway, um, but for some motorcycles, it could be super awesome. So Jody, come on in. I know he is so sad because we are leaving the cold. Um, okay, so how cool is this? Now you could have a double bunk. This is a single bunk. If you'd like to add another one, give me a call. I'd be happy to, you know, to get the second one installed. Uh, but such a nice feature to have this huge 42 inch bed up here. So bigger than my 30 inch bunks that I have, because mine are of course um, 72 by 30. This is gonna be 84 by uh, 42. So for someone taller, definitely a, even an adult, much better option. And then you've got windows back here as well. You also have your climate control. So up here you'll see I have my Dometic control here. That's for our additional optional uh, 13,500 BTU air conditioner and heat pump. Um, I also have awning control here. This is that awning I was telling you uh, when I was showing you the rear view cameras and the cameras pointing down. It was pointing down at that awning, but take a look at this party patio. This is such a cool idea by Numar. So to have a place where you can get out here, have breakfast. Um, also, there's an outlet right here. If you wanted to cook back here and have your breakfast patio be here, turn this into a full-fledged kitchen. You could absolutely do that. Uh, this coach does come with the optional television back here. So you could do that. You could watch a nice show, uh, maybe watch the morning news while you're eating breakfast little place to store everything up here. I can't reach those cabinets, but they're great. <laughs> Definitely need a footstool for this one. Um, and then you also have your control systems. There's speakers on the outside of this coach. So you've got like, basically this is like a party bus. You've got these JBL speakers throughout uh, the RV. Another fantastic fan. So that's the third one for this RV. And then these are the optional uh, motorcycle chocks. And then as you can see here, each one comes 
with a little pad here because you can also use this as a loading ramp for your motorcycles. So if you can imagine how much room, for me, I'd say one nice motorcycle right here, optional washer and dryer, um, and hit the road. You get everything that you need all contained in one unit. Pull your Jeep behind. Uh, Michaela and I were talking this morning about potentially doing a video on this coach and showing you uh, this coach pulling a horse trailer because if you're a rodeo family and you want to get you know trackside and have all your stuff you could have your motorcycle you could have your washer and dryer you could have your patio i mean you can have everything that you need all in this one contained unit so really really like this feature um, now as i mentioned earlier uh, these are more uh, instructional videos we're hoping that we'll be able to um, Woo you with our knowledge, uh, which means we're gonna show you how everything works. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this patio in right now. Yeah, you should go down. Yep, Jody's gonna go ahead and go down right now. Now, right by this patio control, there's something that says fuel pump. And that is because this coach does have an optional fuel pump. Um, but what I wanted to show you, so here's your access area, so you've got an access area here off of the uh, starboard side of the coach. You also have an access area to the patio off the back. Um, and then this is just super cool. So I just have this, uh, there's actually, you can, you can screw it into place. There's like little holders right here, but just for the sake of television, we're, we didn't attach those today. So I'll just take this off. And I'm gonna set it aside. And the only reason I'm putting it over here next to one of our pods is because if I put it in the middle of the road, inevitably somebody will drive over it during the video because that is Murphy's Law. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove. Now you'll notice that this ladder is adjustable so I can change uh, the pitch of these steps depending on uh, how much uh, up I need onto my deck. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just release these little levers here. Drop those down. Pull this out. Release all the way in. Drop this down. And then there's a snap here. And then there's another one. Oh, you know what? I didn't snap the inside one. Hold on, hold on. So one snap there. Another snap here. Drop this down. There is another snap here. I'm not gonna worry about that for right now because I can't reach it. And then just pop this guy together. I'll be right back. Wanna make sure we don't come apart when we're pushing the door up. And now our patio has gone away. So let's assume that I've loaded my motorcycle. Now you'll notice another improvement for 2023. There was a hump on this deck and the hump made it really hard to get your motorcycle up and over the hump. The hump is now gone due to customer feedback. Again, one of the best parts about Numar is they're building these RVs for you. They're not building them for them. They're building them because they know that the consumer that's looking for them wants something that they can own and operate on their own. One more time, Jody. Man. Okay, I think I got it. There we are. Yay! All right. Okay, so. There we go. How cool is that? Here I am, 105 pounds. <laughs> oh, maybe not 105, but still pretty darn cool that I can close it up on my own. I also put it down on my own. And uh, yeah, all we gotta do is make sure we have all of our doors secured. And we are ready to rock and roll. If I didn't mention, uh, there's two windows on the port side and one on starboard. These all open next to that bunk. So that's just such a nice feature. And then I love these screen doors too. You know, so keep the bugs out, keep the stairs up, keep the fresh air coming in. 
Just a really, really nice feature on this coach. Um, okay, so let's get down to business up front. Nice chrome convex mirrors. There's that left hand or port side camera for when you're making your lane change. You'll notice we've got, again, aluminum rims, which are giving you a much quieter ride going down the road. These are uh, 27580 R22s or R22.5s. So big tires, nice Michelins. These are the uh, XZ E2 uh, tire. Going to give you nice road presence, lots of grip. You've got here a 25 gallon propane tank. Isn't that fantastic? Lots and lots of propane in this coach. It's going to run again your Truma tankless water system. And then look at all of the storage underneath here. So much storage. And then there on the left, you've got a nice bay light. So you can see what you're doing. Now here you'll see uh, the underside of one of our water tanks. Now I do want to mention this coach does have the extra 110 volt heat pads on this coach. So if you're looking for something that's going to be better for you in uh, the uh, cooler temperatures, again, this is one of those coaches. I know you get out there in the Mojave especially towards the end of fall. It is so beautiful, but it's really cold at night. This coach is going to keep you from freezing up. Um, now you'll see here we have our little hoses for our vacuum cleaner and also our road vac system here. Another uh, two USB ports and one 10 outlet here, as well as another light. And then for those of you who are a little disappointed to find out it didn't have the rear or the exterior entertainment system, it does. So there's your outdoor receiver uh, with a USB port as well. And then a speaker up above. Again, this is the party bus. Um, so super cool there. Another uh, Samsung television too. You know, Newmar just does not quite cut uh, corners and very easy to stow. Gonna go ahead and bring that down. Now, um, I don't know if I mentioned uh, the exterior and interior color of this coach. And I just wanna make sure I get it right. Yeah, it's Bologna. So B-E-L-L-O-N-A, a decor on the interior and the exterior. And again, we had those Bermuda uh, hardwood cabinets. Uh, that is a really nice optional feature with a matte finish. Uh, here we have another storage area with another set of outlets. Again, nice 275-80 R22 tires. Now, one of the benefits, of course, of this coach is that all these tires are the same all the way around in some of our pushers. You've got different tire sizes, some of which are harder uh, to get. Another nice storage area here as well. Another, oh, did we talk about the pass-through one, George Jody? Is that this one? Yeah, this is the pass-through one. I'm so sorry. So I wanted to make sure we had that other slide open just so you could see um, the light in there. So you could see that there's a pass-through here. Uh, anyone who's got like, you know, fishing poles or uh, paddleboard paddles, those are just nice things to have. Another great amount of storage back here as well. Oops. And again, this is going to be the MC340 chassis with a 6,000 pound hitch, 700 foot pounds of torque. You've also got your seven pin connector. Um, oh, inside, if you didn't see it against the wall, we did get the optional rear ladder. Of course, you have to take that off uh, to put the deck down on the back. You got your power cord back here in this rear bay. And then next to this, you'll see, um, oh, also cable. Should mention that, people always ask me where that is. And then the optional surge protector. Uh, but so next to this bay, you'll see we also have an additional fueling station. So you actually have, if you've got your motorcycle with you and you want to keep gas on board so you don't have to go into the gas station when you get to where you're going, there you go, right there. Extra fueling station for your outdoor toys. More storage here. Oh, look at our ladybug is still here. Jody, can you get a, a close up? That's, that's good luck for anyone who wants to buy this RV. I'll tell you what, if you end up with a Canyon Star, um, you know, turbo diesel, so TDI, it's, it's, a, it's a term we all hear a lot, but when you have a uh, combustion engine that's actually with compressed oxygen, 
that functions at the same level, as functions the same as it does at sea level, as it does at high altitudes. In an RV, that's really important stuff. We sell a lot of base stars to people who are what I call flatlanders, and they get out here to the Rocky Mountains and they're like, whoa, Nelly, like what happened? My, my coach usually feels so capable. Well, it's because we're at a higher altitude. I mean, the base altitude of where we were at Breckenridge, I think was 9,000 feet. And I know that we rode our bikes up to Copper and that was a 1,500 foot ascension. Uh, and it was in a few, what, 15 miles? So for those of you that are looking for something that's more powerful, to get a toy hauler with a diesel engine, this is the only option you have. And in 2024, you've got two. Uh, in 2023, we had three. But this is definitely gonna be our most popular option uh, with that eight foot garage, plenty of room again for a motorcycle. Lots of storage once again. Another lidded bay as well. And then here at the next bay, you'll see what a great water station. And I'm gonna let you go ahead and just show that off right now, Jody. I'm gonna go up here and turn off this Onan generator before we get to it. There we go, because it's kind of kind of loud. Um, so I can turn that generator on from inside or outside of the coach. Um, so here you'll see, uh, it's really nice to have your black water hose uh, separate, your drain outlet in a separate bay. So your low point drain is right here, your fresh water connection, your black tank sewage rinse is right here. You have a hot and cold outside shower, you have access to your water pump, you've got a whole house water filter. You know, like I said, I think it's really interesting. Um, we don't cover, you know, how nice these coaches are. And you'll note here, these doors open sideways, they're not popping up, right? So there's so many aspects uh, of this Canyon Star that make it so much better than anything else offered on the market above and beyond the fact that it's a diesel. So this whole bay is consecutive. All of these connect. So again, long stuff. Any of you fly fishermen, this is your dream team right here. You can get everything in there. Again, there's that optional eight kilowatt quiet diesel generator. Again, your six optional six batteries. and your 13 gallon depth tank. This is your Truma AquaGo system. One of the things that's really nice about this is this system is super easy to, is super easy to access. Uh, it's got all your operational controls right here. So if you need to troubleshoot for any particular reason, you can. One thing I wanted to make mention of though, is if it's on, this is on and this is on. Off is in the middle. I don't know why there's two on switches, uh, but for those of you who think that they turned it off, you got to make sure you remember that it's the middle, which is off. <laughs> Run into that sometimes, so thought I'd make mention of it. Okay, we covered this bay already. Got our, again, our power driver's window, as you can see right here. Another camera. Now, we did opt to get these new Silver Star headlights. Customer feedback told us that in 2023, all of our units should have better uh, night vis nice visibility. So you have your uh, new upgraded headlights as well as your fog lamps down here. And then of course, this is a front engine diesel. So all the engines back here. Now, the one thing we haven't covered yet is walking space. Uh, so we're gonna do that first. We will still end outside, but I do wanna bring the slides in and show you that walking space. Um, on the way up though, nice little storage compartment for those of you who have fine furry friends. Maybe you want to have your water dishes. If you're a cyclist and you just want to have your helmets in there and maybe, uh, you know, a few pumps and, uh, you know, tools, you could do that. I mean, it, it's really one of these coaches that's going to get you out on the road doing so much more. Oh, Jody, I'm turning the air back on. There we go. Boy, that was hard. Just kidding. Okay, so let's bring in this rear bedroom slide first. Now, when this rear bedroom slide is in, you will not have access to your children. So if you've locked them up in the back, perfect. You don't have to worry about them until you get, no, I'm just kidding. Don't put your kids back there. Um, no, in all seriousness, I would encourage you for traveling down the road, keep that garage for people who are uh, not dogs, not humans. Keep them up here in the front. You've got plenty of room. It's not soft and cushiony back there. You know, those walls are so cool because you can like literally like, hose them off and use like that, that orange goo stuff to clean them, but they're not soft. So if you hit a bump and someone went the wrong way, you'd feel pretty bad. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, 
this will be closed when we bring in these slides, but you're thinking, oh, how are we going to have access to the bathroom? Oh, and then if anyone wants to chime in down below, do you not love this? I love this little handrail. I think it's so nice um, to have like a handrail. But I have one of my coach. I like it a lot. So I don't know why I care, but I do. Jody, did I show that outlet over there? God, there's so many outlets in this coach. Lots of power. How about the one above the sink? That was just my... So these do have uh, what's called an automatic, automatic locking slide mechanism, which is super cool. So for those of you who are familiar with uh, the Renegade product that we carry, we are required to, you can show them the side lock if you want. Um, we are required to put slide locks in place or to tell you you should. I never use mine, but uh, it's nice not to have to, to use those or nice to not have to lie to the manufacturer and tell them that you weren't using them or that you were using them when you weren't. Um, you know why I never wanted to use them? I'm just afraid I'm going to forget to take them out. I mean, honestly, that's going to be my, my downfall. All right, so check this out, man. This is a lot of walking room and a great place to keep your water bottle. And the remotes. That's where we keep the remotes for sure. Um, but so if you've got a big dog, the big dog could totally have a big dog bed right there. Um, you also have access, though, most importantly, to the bathroom. So I can get all the way in this bathroom. I can also do use the dishwasher, right? So, I can, if, so let's say that we're getting up early in the morning, we're taking off. I can still leave all the dishes in the sink and just do them as we're heading down the road. And I have access to all of the frosty beverages you could ever want. Um, so again, this is one of those RVs that I feel like is just not known about enough um, I think it is definitely, um, we're gonna go ahead and pull these awnings in. Uh, when we're pulling these in, Jody, I would love you to show these little LED lights in this living room. Such a nice, huge awning. And it pivots too, so it's giving you the ultimate sun protection. Um, but no, this is definitely one of those RVs um, that a lot of people don't know about. and. If you haven't uh, taken a look at a Canyon Star front engine diesel, uh, this is again the 3957. Uh, this is a fantastic opportunity here for 2023 at uh, Newmar, or from Newmar at Trans West Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Uh, this is stock number 5N220621. Again, 5N220621. Yeah, man, this is a this is a cool coach. Um, so. Please, if you're interested, or if I can answer any questions for you, reach out to me. My name is Katie O'Neill. I'm here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I come to you live every Monday at 1030. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, please follow me, like me, let me know how I can get you out on the road and camping. Thanks again.